Is The Rock, the final boss, set to return at WWE Bad Blood in Atlanta on Saturday? That is what everybody is talking about. If you guys are watching this channel, you've probably seen it somewhere else already being discussed. If you've been on Twitter, which I keep telling you guys, be sure to follow me on there now. I am discussing this story and a lot more uh, on Twitter now. Lots of WWE content. Follow me at Russell Blake. You can check out the link in the description uh, below to follow me there. A lot of you guys have already done it. Uh, but we are going to be talking about this, not just in video form. We'll be talking about it on Twitter as well, because that's where everybody's talking about. The idea that The Rock may be set to make his long-awaited WWE return at Bad Blood. How did this come about? Well, we talked yesterday when we did the video about Cody Rhodes uh, dropping a big hint on the WrestleMania 41 main event, uh, Cody kind of maybe teased an idea that this match that he's going to be involved in at WrestleMania 41 could be bigger than anyone anticipated. We talked about the possibility of that maybe being not just a singles match, but possibly a triple threat match involving Cody Rhodes, The Rock, and Roman Reigns. And you can check out the video with thoughts on that. But what did Cody do after that? Well, after he goes on the Pat McAfee show, he shares a clip on his Instagram. Keep in mind, Cody shared this clip on his Instagram. So, like, this is not something that, you know, this just accidentally snuck out and people just were able to read between the lines and decipher things that were said. Cody publicly made this available. This particular interaction that he had with Pat McAfee after the show went off the air. He's taking pictures with the entire team and all of that. Cody's getting ready to leave, and he shares this little behind-the-scenes look on his Instagram, right? Again, just like I said in the video with Cody talking about and teasing the WrestleMania 41 main event, Cody is not a dummy. He knows what he's doing, and he's very good, I think, at promoting things and kind of blurring the lines between what he wants you to hear and versus what is actually going to be the case. A great hype man, and I think that's good for your top star in the company because you want him to be able to get people more interested. And so the exchange that has everyone talking is the fact that that after they finish taking the picture, um, you know, Pat McAfee shakes Cody's hand. And McAfee says, heard the big guys coming back this week. And Cody's response is, which one? You know, Cody kind of goes in and talks about, well, you know, you know, there's a lot going on. You know, which one? And Pat McAfee's like, you told me all I needed to know. Just in that response, which one, right? So the big guy. Everyone's talking about who's the big guy. We can pretty much confirm the big guy is not Ryback because I know some people were having fun with some gifts on Twitter that it could be Ryback because Ryback was the big guy when he was running wild in WWE. It's not going to be Ryback, but could it be the big guy, the final boss, The Rock? That is what everyone wants to know. And if you start to put some things together, sure, could it be possible? I think even said in our Bad Blood Predictions video, I said, I don't think The Rock's coming back anytime soon. Well, I may be the dummy in this whole thing because if The Rock does come back on Saturday at Bad Blood, then we know that, um, you know, hey, it's coming back this soon and we're really kicking off whatever's going to happen heading into WrestleMania 41 season. We're six months away now and maybe they have decided this is the time that we go ahead and do this now, have a big shocking appearance from The Rock somehow at Bad Blood and all of that. It could happen. Certainly, it's WWE in the Triple H era. Anything can happen, as we've certainly learned uh, with various things that have taken place, whether it's the CM Punk return uh, you know, a year ago at Survivor Series, whether it is The Rock's involvement in what happened in the lead-up to WrestleMania 40, all these different things that they've done in this era to kind of keep you off guard a little bit and all that. But is this logistically something that we think is going to happen? Well, if you want to go both ways here in terms of trying to argue for and against the idea that The Rock will make his return at Bad Blood. I think it's pretty simple uh, as to why they would do it, right? If you're going to do it, well, there's a couple things I think that WWE is working with here. For one, it does make these shows that are not, you know, SummerSlam, the Royal Rumble, obviously WrestleMania, Survivor Series, your big sort of cornerstone shows that have always been that way since, you know, the, the, the mid-80s, late 80s, right? If you want to make these other shows, not to necessarily call them lesser shows, but, I mean, compared to the others, they don't have the actual, you know, name value and all that of the bigger shows. Bringing The Rock back would certainly all of a sudden make you think, all right, I got to watch every PLE. Uh, I can't just watch the ones that I think are the biggest ones. I got to watch all of them because I don't know when The Rock could come back. I don't know when someone else could come back if he's doing it at bad blood. 
He's not doing it at WrestleMania. He's not doing it at SummerSlam. He's doing it at Bad Blood, right? That increases the name value of these lower, you know, maybe tier PLEs moving forward. That's one reason. Another reason is because it makes sense from the story, right? You're having Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns team up, and if there's someone, which we haven't really explored this idea a lot in some of the videos, we focus mostly on the idea with Roman Reigns and Solo and Jacob Fatu and how those bloodline interactions have been working with the people who are actually there. But The Rock can't be too happy, not just with what's going on with Solo and him losing two championship opportunities to Cody Rhodes, but he also can't be too happy with the idea that Roman Reigns has decided to team up with Cody Rhodes. Because we know The Rock's arch nemesis here is Cody Rhodes, and he can't stand Cody. We've seen that play out, and they've all but teased, again, the idea that we could have that WrestleMania 41 match between The Rock and Cody. So The Rock is not going to be happy with his bloodline, his family member, teaming with Cody when he thought that him and The Rock were on the same side, even though we know that probably hasn't always been the case. So you can understand The Rock wants to make an appearance here, whether in actual physical form in Atlanta or whether it is by video or something like that, that is one possibility and it could encourage The Rock to somehow make an appearance because he's pissed off about Roman teaming with Cody and he also could be pissed off at the idea that what if the bloodline loses again? What if Solo loses again? Um, there are a lot of things where The Rock comes back and he's had enough, right, with whatever happens at Bad Blood. So, there's one possibility, okay? If you want to go with a scenario that The Rock could make his return, and people I know are also speculating on the idea that one of the other reasons, if you want to argue for The Rock making his return, is that you are going to do The Rock versus Cody Rhodes at Crown Jewel a month from now in Saudi Arabia. And why could you put two and two together and think that that is a possibility? Well, because of the money. Because there is a lot of money that we know goes into the Saudi Arabia shows. And so if it is one where, hey, they are going to spend the money to get The Rock and The Rock is going to wrestle, well, then you do The Rock versus Cody Rhodes and maybe that is where you do the match and then you do The Rock versus Roman at WrestleMania 41. That is also, I suppose, a plausible scenario. But if you're also going to argue against the idea that The Rock is going to return here, well, you can kind of go off of the stuff we just said. It's bad blood. It's not WrestleMania. It's not SummerSlam. It's not the Rumble. These aren't, you know, th those are your staple shows, the cornerstone of the company in terms of the biggest PLEs. So needing The Rock to come back at Bad Blood, probably not something that you have to do just yet, especially if you're saving him for WrestleMania season. We are still six months away from WrestleMania 41, so he doesn't have to come back just yet. I still think, in terms of my opinion, if you're doing the timeline, there's never a bad time to have The Rock back because it's The Rock. You want to give you know as much visibility as you can, and you're going to get all the headlines. And let me tell you, I know that WWE would probably be just fine with boasting The Rock's return on a Saturday three days after AEW signed their big deal on their five-year anniversary uh, with WBD and Max and all that uh, to get their big streaming deal. So... That aside, if you want to play that game, um, which again, it's professional wrestling, it's a, it's a business, it's a competition, and those kind of things, sure, you love to parade the rock out, and all of a sudden, you sort of dwarf anything else that's been done in the wrestling world during this week. But, you know, I still think Survivor Series is one of those kind of spots that just makes a lot of sense, because if you're still going to do the War Games match, which we've said, WWE seems to be hinting that the idea could be Cody Rhodes, Roman Reigns, Kevin Owens, and Randy Orton teaming up against the rogue version of the Bloodline. I'm not still as sold on that idea. I don't like it anywhere near as much as I like the Bloodline versus the Bloodline, but you've got to speed things up a little bit here if you are going to do the originals versus the rogue version uh, because we're now, you know, again, a month and a half, more than a month and a half away from Survivor Series at the end of November. Uh, so, but again, I don't discount the fact that WWE could want to get The Rock on this show to really kickstart things, not just heading into Crown Jewel a month from now, Survivor Series and all that, but really go ahead and set the foundation for what you're going to do with the Bloodline versus the Bloodline and also with The Rock at WrestleMania 41. So it makes sense why they, they could want to do it here. But also logistically, I think if you're going, you know, as to why this would not be something. One of the things that I think people are talking about and why The Rock came into this. Not just the fact that Pat McAfee, you know, said is the big guy coming back, right? 
It's it's not just that. It's also because of what Cody said before, which we discussed this in the previous video. Cody did bring up the fact that he kind of teased something else when he said there's going to be a big video package or a vignette or something that will basically explain the title implications for Crown Jewel. The way I read that was that, to me, it sounds like whoever wins this tag team match on Saturday, and maybe I'm going to be proven wrong here. That's happened before. But it sounds like whoever wins this match may be in line for a title opportunity. So to me, if Cody and Roman win, then that means Roman gets a shot at Cody, right? But if Jacob Fatu or Solo Sokoa pin Cody Rhodes, then maybe that's where one of those guys get the shot at the title, which we know if it's going to be one of them, it's going to be Jacob Fatu. It's not going to be Solo again. So I wonder if that's the way they go, because we've seen them do that before. Um, I want to say that was recently. I can't remember the exact setting. Wasn't It, it was kind of like the Bailey, um, Naomi, Nia Jax, Tiffany Stratton tag team match, right? Could they do something like that? where whoever gets the win is going to be the person. And, of course, they did the double pin, which it's not, you're not going to have to do that here because Cody's the champion. But if you do it that way, you know, Roman pins the other team. Roman gets a shot at the title at Crown Jewel. Jacob Fatu pins Cody or pins Roman Reigns. That gives Jacob Fatu the shot at the title. I suppose, you know, that's something they could do. Uh, but I don't know that, again, I just – I find it hard to believe they're going to do Cody versus The Rock. You can tell I'm talking through this because this is kind of a very intriguing idea. But the more I talk through it and the more I kind of think about it, I don't know that I see, even for all the money that could be available to do the match, I don't know if I see WWE wanting to give up Cody versus The Rock for Crown Jewel when you can certainly headline WrestleMania 41 with that match if you're going to do it. Um, so I just, I don't know. I'm not... Again, this is just my personal preference. I still think, you know, that's probably the match that a year in the making, remember what happened to the WrestleMania 40 kickoff event this past year in Las Vegas. To do it a year later, if you are going to do Rock and Cody, makes all the sense in the world. You could also do Rock versus Roman. As we've said, that would be my preference, maybe. You can do the triple threat for the reasons we outlined in the previous video. But I just wonder if bringing the Rock back here is necessary in terms of kind of still getting to where you're going to get to at Survivor Series. I just... I don't know that I see The Rock involved in the War Games match at Survivor Series. But if he's available, if his schedule is available, and we've heard before that The Rock has said he wanted to do more than just one match, if he does, well, you can protect him in a War Games match because he's got you know four other people in there to work with and all this. So he doesn't have to be the center of attention. Um, but I still think you would probably want to save The Rock for those big, big, big-time matches, which War Games would be. But I just still think your big-time matches involve Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns in some combination, in some order. And so I just I don't know that I see The Rock getting ready uh, to wrestle just yet at Crown Jewel. Um, but if it happens, no one's going to complain, I don't think, uh, about having The Rock back in the fold this soon if he does return at Bad Blood. Or, as people have also proposed, what if the big guy means someone else? I've never heard Jimmy Uso called the big guy. But... Maybe Jimmy Uso is the big guy to Pat McAfee, and <laughs> he's the person who's going to make his return. The other big guy possibility, Brock Lesnar is still out there. He's still not come back. Could Brock Lesnar get involved, knowing that Brock Lesnar had a long history with Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes? We know why Brock Lesnar has not or was not you know, kind of around for the Royal Rumble season, um, and we fully expected we were going to get Brock Lesnar maybe versus Gunther at WrestleMania. That didn't happen for reasons that, again, we, we all know why Brock was pulled at that point. But could it be time now for him to make his return? That, I suppose, is also something that, that could happen uh, in the future. Don't know if it's bad blood, but the thing is, everything we've talked through here, it's pretty obvious that WWE has a lot of great ideas to work with. Like, they have a lot of big things they can still go to. The Rock is the biggest one of them all. But we know that there are still quite a few things um, to kind of play out here uh, as we start this, you know, road to Survivor Series and get towards WrestleMania 41. And so how does it all play out? You guys let me know your thoughts. Do you think The Rock comes back at Bad Blood? If he's there, what does he do? Is he there via video package? Is there something that teases The Rock's return? We don't get him just yet. How do you see it playing out? And what's the plan for Crown Jewel? Let me know your predictions. Do you think we do Cody versus Roman 3 at Crown Jewel? Do you think there's a possibility they could do Cody versus The Rock at Crown Jewel? 
Let me know your thoughts, guys. Always appreciate your feedback. And again, like I said, um, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button on your way out. Uh, follow me again on Twitter. Uh, I'm doing a lot of stuff there. Check out that link below. Uh, and yeah, I appreciate uh, all the interactions from you guys on there so far. And we're going to talk a lot more about this, I think, you know, leading into Bad Blood and all that. And the plan right now, we're going to do a live stream uh, after Bad Blood on Saturday night. So be sure to turn those notifications on. Uh, that way you can check that out. But give me your thoughts on whether you think The Rock will return at Bad Blood.